Tonight's cover story is personal. It's a story that affects me and everyone living in India's national capital region. The question I want to ask tonight is this. How long can Delhi escape an earthquake with just a minor scare? A little past 2.30 p.m. this afternoon, India's national capital felt strong tremors. In fact, the Gravitas team had just sat down for the daily edit meeting when the room started shaking, the table started trembling. We had to run and evacuate. Half an hour later, when we managed to resume the meeting, the team knew exactly which story we should be telling tonight. We had to tell Delhi's story. It's the story of a tragedy that's been in the making for a long time, an earthquake that will see Delhi and neighboring parts crumble, that will see buildings being reduced to dust. It's the story of the great Himalayan quake. How long before that quake strikes? Also, are these tremors taking us closer to that massive earthquake? And here's another question. How much time do we really have to prepare for the inevitable or is it too late? Just have a look at what happened earlier today. Two earthquakes struck Nepal. The first one hit at 2.25 p.m. to be precise. It was 4.6 on the Richter scale and minutes later the second earthquake struck. It was a massive 6.2 magnitude quake. The epicenter was in Nepal's Bajang district. There was panic, people rushed out of their homes and offices, and soon reports emerged of destruction, of damaged buildings and collapsed homes. The earthquake also triggered a landslide which went on to block a major highway in Nepal. So far, there are reports of at least 17 people having suffered injuries. And neighbouring India felt the tremors as well. Delhi, Noida, Gurugram, Faridabad, Dehradun, all of these parts shook. I thought something was happening to me, so I waited for a few seconds. The chair was shaking vigorously. I was working, sitting on a chair, and the chair started shaking, and I felt the tremors. Like many others living or working out of Delhi NCR, we also had to take appropriate measures. Thankfully, so far, there are no reports of deaths or injuries here in Delhi. But the question is for how, for how long? For how long will Delhi and its neighboring parts escape earthquakes with just a minor scare? Tremors are becoming extremely frequent in this part of the continent. As of 6 o'clock this evening, there were at least eight quakes in the Himalayan region, two major and three minor quakes in Nepal alone. There was a 4.7 magnitude quake in Afghanistan. This was around 4.29 p.m. IST. There was also a minor quake in Sonipat in Haryana. This was a little past 11 a.m. Earlier today, there were earthquakes in Tajikistan and Shizang in China. And Delhi did not feel the tremors of most of these quakes because they were minor. But what if they were not? Delhi and NCR is home to approximately 28 million people. Delhi sits on three fault lines. The Delhi Muradabad fault line, the Mathura fault line, the Sona fault line. Gurugram sits on seven fault lines. For those of you who don't know what fault lines are, these are zones where tectonic plates meet, which is what also makes fault lines home to seismic activities. Delhi NCR falls under seismic zone 4, meaning it is a severe intensity zone. FYI, the higher the seismic zone number, the more at risk the place is. And this categorization is not the only reason Delhi NCR is prone to earthquakes. Just have a look at the map of Delhi. It's extremely close to the Himalayas, as you can see. This mountain range was formed by the collision of two tectonic plates, the Eurasian plate and the Indian plate. 
The process started some 50 million years ago and till date the seismic activities in the Himalayas continue. Delhi is located just about 250 kilometers from the Himalayan collision zone. And every time there is a there is an earthquake here, Delhi is exposed to moderate or high risk. Every time there is a quake in a Himalayan town or city, Delhi stands exposed. And we saw this in 1803 during the Garhwal earthquake. In 1991 during the Uttarkashi quake. In 1999 during the Chamoli earthquake. In the 1960s, there was an earthquake in the Delhi Gurugram border. Around 75% of the buildings around the epicenter developed cracks. The quake was around 6 on the Richter scale. Some experts later corrected that number to 4.8. In 1966, an earthquake that struck Moradabad near Delhi killed 14 people in the national capital. In 1994, an earthquake caused damage to one of the minarets of Delhi's Jama Masjid. What if a 6 plus magnitude earthquake struck Delhi? Experts say the impact would be massive. Several buildings would be raised to dust. Experts point out newly constructed high rises, many of which are not earthquake resistant or have questionable certification. And over the years, we've also seen an increase in the use of glass in construction. And this is true especially for Gurugram. In the event of a major earthquake, these glass slabs are bound to crack and fall, injuring those who may have run out of the building for safety. One of the people injured in Nepal today, for example, was hit by a falling object. So you see what I'm talking about. When the mega quake strikes Delhi, among the worst affected areas would be neighborhoods along the Yamuna flood plains. East Delhi, the Lutians area, which is home to India's parliament, the Delhi University North Campus also falls under the high-risk zones, as does the Delhi airport. Time for the bad news now. Seismologists believe it is only a matter of time before an earthquake of 8 magnitude or more strikes the Himalayan region. The great Himalayan quake has been long predicted. So how long before Delhi crumbles? No one can tell. But a Himalayan quake that affects Delhi is also bound to shake Lucknow. The Indian city is home to nearly 3 million people and congested neighborhoods. Across the border, Lahore and Islamabad also are bound to feel the tremors. In the year 2018, a scientist in Pakistan's Punjab University warned Lahore to prepare for more earthquakes. But is the city and its neighbors prepared? Over 13 million people live in Lahore. Their government has not ensured that buildings are earthquake resistant. Pakistan's building code is dated and it is often accused of underplaying its city's vulnerability to seismic shocks. And geological experts also point out faulty engineering. These are cities where people live in old, crumbling buildings, cramped houses, a well-maintained single staircase is a luxury, let alone multiple sets of stairs for evacuation. The alleys are narrow and unfavorable for rescue and evacuation missions. Nine people lost their lives in Pakistan in March when a 6.8 magnitude quake struck Pakistan and Afghanistan. Also, there is little or no earthquake drill. There are little or no earthquake drills in this part of the world. And this includes Delhi as well. When was the last time your office had a drill? When was the last time your child's school or your housing society had an evacuation drill? Do you know where the safe spots in your neighborhood area are? What awaits the Himalayan cities is a tragedy of a massive scale. And with every passing day and every tremor, you and I are inching closer to the great Himalayan quake. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.